JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing at stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trace Sace, A Political Jess, and New Mexico bred Brookstone Bay in the genetic offering. Why not explore your options with us? Endless possibilities with winning results. JEH Stallion Station. When G.R. Carter qualified four to the Rainbow Futurity, it was the embarrassment of riches that top jockeys kind of get used to. And while his choice of Mighty B. Valiant for a mount in the finals probably seems obvious, he was the fastest qualifier, the other three are certainly not without talent. Here's G.R.'s assessment of his Rainbow Quartet. Mighty B. Valiant has got, uh, he's got the resume behind him already with the win in the Rainbow Futurity and then uh, a second in the Heritage and he run a phenomenal trial race. And as long as, as long as he pulled up good, you know, anyone can see that, you know, that's the horse to ride in the finals. And he, uh, he seemed to pull up really good and is doing good and we're expecting good things out of him. And, but nonetheless, I qualified two or three other ones that, that, that I, I expect big things out of them too. Jess Cuervo, he uh, had ran really good races at Remington. He had won his, a couple races at Remington, but he had never really seemed to just really put a good race together, like really go from, from gate to wire He'd had races where he kind of wanted to lug in and just get up at the wire and, and barely, barely win. But uh, in the trials, he drew the inside. He kind of seems to want to kind of fade to the inside and all. With him being on the inside, he seemed to really run a good race down that inside rail and just drew off. And he finally ran the kind of race we felt like he was capable of. And, uh, and he pulled up really good and was doing good. And I expect him to run, run big today. He's a nice horse. YM Quick is uh, just a really nice, big, good-looking son of a Valiant Hero that looks, it's amazing to me how much he resembles his dad. I expect him to run, run a pretty good race too, but I really think that he's probably the lesser of the three. One of Carter's decisions involved a horse from a different stable. Feature Mr. Bo Jangles, trained by Roberto Sanchez, won the Four Corners Futurity at San Juan Downs. That's a really good horse. He, uh, I was real fortunate to pick the mount up in the Four Corners Futurity and uh, went up and rode him for the first time and uh, he just really showed me that he had the really talent to run down the racetrack. He ran a really nice race, beat a good horse, drew off and uh, matter of fact Jackie Martin had the opportunity to ride uh, any of the other three that I qualified between uh, Raymond's two and then feature Mr. Bojangles and he, he went with feature Mr. Bojangles and I, I think he probably probably made a wise decision. Carter firmly believes he made the right choice, but he'll be keeping an eye on some of the others he qualified. Jess Quervo and feature Mr. Bojangles, right? If if uh, if Mighty B. Valiant stubs his toe or doesn't run his race, I think they're probably the two, the next two of the next two best horses in the race. I really do. This coming fall, join Heritage Place in Oklahoma City for their annual quarter horse yearling sale. The industry's largest sale event is scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. on Thursday, September 15th. So mark your calendar and make your plans now to be in Oklahoma City. This three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest quarter horse yearlings presented at auction anywhere this year in the country. We invite you to join us, Heritage Place, where champions are sold. Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta in Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.